As many of you would have crossed the Atlantic in the plane and know it takes around six hours normally. But things were different many years ago and many people had tried to cross the Atlantic with planes of that time and before June 1919, Noah had crossed it successfully. But two men known as Alok and Brown made history by flying non-stop across the Atlantic from Newfoundland which is the most eastern province of Canada to Ireland. It all started in 1913 when the Daily Mail announced a prize of £10,000 for the person who fly across the Atlantic Ocean non-stop, but eventually the World War I broke out and it had to be suspended, but after the war the competition resumed and the competitors started to build their bases in Newfoundland to attempt the first direct transatlantic flight. And Alcock and Brown reached the late and had difficulty in locating a runway strip for the plane to take off as there was no airport in the area. They assembled their Vickers Vimy plane in just two weeks and at the same time they also had located a field which was good enough to be used as a runway, so workers smoothed the field so that the plane takes off correctly. And finally on the afternoon of June 14th they took off from Newfoundland and radioed the message all well and started but unfortunately it was their first and last message as the radio went off after that. And soon afterwards, when they were over the Atlantic fog covered the ocean and they couldn't find their drift. When the night approached Brown said to a lock to climb above the clouds so he can determine their heading and position by looking at the stars and Brown calculated that they were averaging 106 miles per hour, faster than they had planned. After some time, they again flew into a bank of clouds and Alcock control of the plane and it entered a spiral dive and they dropped around 4,000 feet and got out of the clouds just 100 feet and Alcock got the control. And as they continued heading east, the weather got worse and rain turned into snow and covered the plane and Brown had to get up in the open cockpit and clean the snow which was on the plane. And eventually, the ice covered the air intake of one of the engines and Alcock decided to shut it down before the backfiring could destroy it. And they hoped the melted when they descended and at nearly 500 feet above, the ice melted and Alcock restarted the engine again and less than half hour after that they spotted solid land which meant they have reached Ireland and Alcock decided to land in a field which he thought to be smooth enough but when he landed, the wheels dug in and the nose touched the ground gently, but both of them were safe. And finally, they had made history and their names were in the newspapers the next morning. And in London, they received the prize of £10,000 which is equal around $1.1 million now. And that's how the first transatlantic flight happened. Make sure to subscribe to the Avjik official and like and share the video.